Hey guys, welcome to Rehab My Dojo. We're here at Texas Black Belt Academy Midlothian with Big Chief Wade Bowie. Hey, y'all listen in on uh, Wade's story and his journey coming into Texas Black Belt Academy. It's gonna be exciting. I started uh, martial arts at 14 years old, 1979, 40 years ago. My brother was swinging by my driveway one day when I'm on a skateboard and my mom and dad were divorced and I think he was trying to be a, a, a father figure and he comes by and says, hey, I'm doing, I've done a karate class, you wanna come check it out? And I went, what? Okay. So here I am 40 years later, but that was, that was my start. Sweatsuit uniform, uh, sweatsuit for a uniform for the first couple of months and then I finally got a gi and it was all all over them. You know, I always tell our students that you train in two areas of the martial arts, the physical aspects with all of it, the punching and the kicking and the, the combat and then you also train the character and your character is always going to be tested way more than your physical ever is going to be. Open my school, my storefront school came open in um, 2004, July 2004 after I'd started uh, about six months prior to that at a basketball gym. Got, I got kicked out because we, they couldn't justify me taking up half their court for five students. And then, um, so after about three months there, I ended up going to a dance studio and I got kicked out there. And so my students were just kind of on the street. I had their phone number and I said, just bear with me, we'll find a place. And then a storefront official business uh, came aboard July of um, 2004. Uh, Texas Black Belt Academy came about like uh, kind of like this. I, I had my own uh, school going for a couple of few years, and then I heard about Nick Pahanish and his Texas Black Belt Academy. He had a much different vision than I had. I was just single school trying to make bills. He had a vision of a bunch of schools under his under his watch, um, doing extraordinary things in the martial arts industry. Called him one night when I got in because I was really concerned about my future and. He said, let's, let's meet tomorrow. And by the grace of God, he, um, him and his partner, uh, Donnie Bedore, and his wife, we had to sit down, and that breakfast turned into about a three hour visit. And on my way back, I called my instructor that helped me at the school and said, you wanna stay in the martial arts business? And he said, yeah, sure. And I said, well, we need to talk, so meet me at the school. Of course, we're fixing to do a, a big transformation. There's, a, there's been a big decision I've just made. <laughs> so. Texas White Belt Academy, and then we've been doing the Texas White Belt Academy for under that name for four years now, and I'm hitting, I'm hitting levels and numbers and uh, seeing things I didn't think I would, I didn't think I had in me to get it done. We've grown from back when we were uh, super kicks. Um, I guess the head count was, you know, always below a hundred. Um, Got up. Now we're now we're. I'm, I'm sure we're well over 200, maybe even closer to three. And the numbers, as far as um, our billing and our, you know, the tuition that's collected, uh, I'm almost embarrassed to say this, but uh, a bad month now was as good as our best month. You know, back when I was when I super kicked. So if I put a calculation to it, I bet it's quadruple what we used to do. Uh, activities, students. Um, customer service, this, the whole professionalism, um, being a part of Texas Black Belt Academy, which is a team of schools, it's just made all the world a difference. Transitioning from Bowie Super Kicks Karate to Texas Black Belt Academy, you know, if you think about it, most people in the, in, the, in the world don't like change. They have a hard time adapting to change. Some do it easier than others. I was a little nervous, you know, so if you're contemplating doing this, you know, I would, you know, whether it was with Texas Black Belt Academy or making another move in another direction, yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's risky, you know, and it's, uh, it's kind of nerve wracking. If you don't step out of your comfort zone and to do something different, you're never going to do anything different. You're never your results are always going to be the same. You know, rowing a rowing a canoe and not going nowhere. It went from being a single guy by myself, wondering what I was supposed to do tomorrow. You know, going to bed at night, what am I supposed to do tomorrow? Worrying about everything by myself. Now I've got somebody I can call, talk to, visit, email with, 
we're all on a mission to succeed and it's just a big team. Being a part of the Texas Black Belt Academy team, is, it's been a life changer. Um, I'll, this is what I'll, I'll, I'll retire my senior years doing this. Um, I can't imagine myself doing anything else, can't imagine doing it with anybody else. I took it upon myself to get even TXBBA adding value to lives tattooed on my arm. And what's funny is when I came home, and this is you no, know, this isn't like after year one, this is after year four, and I know I'm not going anywhere. So I hope these guys like me because I'm here to stay. Um, so TXBBA, I would invite the lives, got tattooed on my arm. When I come home, my wife said, well, I sure hope we don't change names again. I said, well, I'm telling you, we won't be changing names because if we're changing names, that means something's happened to me. I'm doing something. I won the lottery and I said, see ya or something. So, no, it's been a lot. Texas Black Belt Academy is definitely, uh, if my wife could be here, she could speak on it too. Because obviously it's, it's changed here at the dojo. It's changed here in my heart and it's changed at the house. So. TXBBA has been a blessing. I don't, I don't have to uh, convince anybody of that. I think they all know it, especially my team guys. So. Hey guys, uh, man, what an amazing story, amazing inspiration, and uh, thank you for watching this episode of Rehab My Dojo. Stay tuned on the next episode as we go to Cleburne, Texas and talk to the Marino family about their journey into Texas Black Belt Academy. We'll see you on the mat.